Welcome to this ZenWorks video demonstration. In this video, we will demonstrate how to get started mitigating the software vulnerabilities that impact Zone devices with ZenWorks 2020 Update 3 and later versions. This requires the software patching capabilities of ZenWorks Patch Management in combination with the common vulnerabilities and exposures data provided by the NIST National Vulnerability Database. We will show how to activate and configure patch management and how to start the CVE subscription to download CVE data. We'll also explain how patch and CVE data work together. Finally, we'll show the data that you can view from CVE and patch dashlets after enabling patch management. ZenWorks pulls data from two sources to identify software vulnerabilities. These sources include CVE data from the National Vulnerability Database and patches from a content repository. That data is used to map CVEs with patches to determine which devices are vulnerable based on required patches. Using patch and CVE dashlets, you can track these vulnerabilities to monitor automated patching or to patch on demand when needed. Some of these dashlets include CVE severity distribution, and top CVEs to track the overall status of vulnerabilities, and recently released patches and device patch compliance to see the latest patches and the status of device patching. The actual patching of devices or mitigating these vulnerabilities occurs in one of two ways, by using one or more patch policies, which automates the patching process to mitigate most vulnerabilities and by patching on demand using patch remediation to mitigate vulnerabilities that require immediate attention. Now that we've covered a little about how ZenWorks mitigates software vulnerabilities, we'll transition to the ZenWorks Control Center. From the Getting Started page for mitigating vulnerabilities, we currently only have one active link in the Enable Patch Management section. As we progress through this configuration, working from left to right, more links become active. We'll also see the status icons change from red to green as we complete each configuration section. Clicking the Activate Product link brings us to the Product Activation page, where we have the option to add a license or start using patch management in evaluation mode. The evaluation option includes activation of the patch management license, which has a default 60-day evaluation period. You can enter a key for a purchased license at any time during the evaluation period. Since this is a demonstration, we'll select Use Evaluation. Note that selecting this option disables the setting to designate this ZenWorks zone as a production zone. We'll also enable the option to activate the product on all devices in the zone. After applying the changes, we're brought back to the Getting Started page where we now have a new active link to Start Patch Services. Before actually starting the patch service, we are prompted to verify that all of our primary servers are at update 3 or later. The patch service, which must run on all primary servers, is installed as part of update 3. We only have one primary server for this demonstration and it is on update 3, so we are ready to start. Once the status changes to completed, the select patch server link is enabled. From here, we'll select the primary server that we'll use as the patch server. The patch server requires external access during the daily maintenance processing to validate the patch subscription license. If it needs to use a proxy for external access, it uses the proxy that is configured on the System Updates Settings page. The selected server also functions as our first on demand content master, or OCM, by default. An OCM is a primary server that has external access so that it can retrieve patches from the source repositories. One OCM is required at minimum for the new patch system. Further OCMs can be added later in the server hierarchy section of the main configuration page. We are not using a proxy in this configuration for our OCM, but if any of the primary servers configured as OCMs use a proxy for external access, 
we would need to configure those. Information for how to configure an OCM proxy is provided in the Patch Management online reference. We'll leave the default schedule for patch management daily maintenance tasks in place and apply the changes. As we return to the Getting Started page, we can see that our last link in this section, Create CVE Subscription, is now active. This link starts the Create New Subscription wizard with CVE Subscription pre-selected. We'll complete the steps to name the subscription, select a server for the downloads, and specify how often to pull the CVEs. On the final step, we can choose to start the subscription immediately, and if we select additional properties, we're taken directly to the subscription summary page after finishing the wizard. From here, we can see the configuration options that we've made and check the status of CVE downloads with the View Log link. Now that we've completed each of the configuration options in the Enable Patch Management section of this Getting Started page, we can see that all the status icons are now green. With Patch Management activated and configured, data will begin populating CVE and patch dashlets after a vulnerability check and scan has run on zone devices. The default scan occurs at device refresh, which is every 12 hours by default. If wanted, we could manually initiate a patch scan sooner. As we transition to show the dashlets, we've already allowed time for scans to occur in accordance with the schedule. Dashlets that display data by default after enabling patch management include CVE data on the security dashboard page and patch dashlets on the patch dashboard page. If needed, you can customize and create additional dashlets and pin them on your applicable dashboard pages in Zenworks to include the home dashboard. In this video, we have demonstrated the initial steps you need to take to identify the software vulnerabilities in your Zenworks management zone by activating and configuring patch management and monitoring the Zenworks patch and CVE data. For information on the steps you need to take to further configure patch management, track patch vulnerabilities, and mitigate those vulnerabilities, see the other security getting started videos on the Mitigating Vulnerabilities page. For more information about using Zenworks security products, see the Zenworks documentation page. Thanks for watching. Thank you.